So related rates, the ones that will be on the test, will only take some set up here. So here's one. The altitude of a triangle is increasing at a rate of one centimeter per minute, while the area of the triangle is increasing at a rate of two centimeters squared per minute. At what rate is the base of the triangle changing when the altitude is 10 and the area is 100? All right. That's it. Altitude is height, right? Yep. So the altitude is the height. So I, just, I would just draw a triangle. And I would just say, hey, I know the triangle's got to have the altitude, which is H, and it has to have a base, which is B. And we know what relates these. The area of a triangle is simply one half base times height. And it says the altitude is increasing at a rate. That means DHCT is getting bigger, right? So it's positive. It's increasing. So positive one centimeter per minute. Then it says what? The area is increasing, which is also positive at two centimeters per minute. And they want to know what's the rate of the base. They want to know dB, dt, when the height is 10 and the area is 100. That's our unknown. All right. Now this time, did you guys catch? There are three. This is gonna be one of the product rules. Yeah, this is a product rule, right on. Oh my God, I know that. And listen, you guys see there are three variables, yeah. and there are three related rates, and we know two of them. So we're not gonna substitute for something. We're actually gonna do the related rate here and do the product rule. D A over D T. is simply the product rule, all right? And, and again, as you get better at these, they start to roll off the tongue easier, all right? If you're struggling with it, you have to see that Calissa took the derivative of a b, which was 1, db dt, for the first term, and the half and the h stayed. And then on the second term, she said, ah, the derivative of h is 1, dh dt, and the half b stays. It had to be two terms. Now it's simply math. You know, I joke about that, you know, because you get the calculus is done. Now it's substitution of substitution. I would write in two centimeters squared per minute for DADT equals one half. We know H is 10. We, know, we don't know DBDT. That's our unknown. Plus one half. Oh, we don't know B yet. We're going to put that there. But DHDT is one centimeter per minute. Centimeters, and this will be centimeters when we get there. Everybody, I suppose I should come back here. At that instant, you have a height of 10 and an area of 100, right? So I'm just going to go up to the original equation up here and say 100 equals 1 half b times 10. Does everybody see that b has to be 20? Yeah. When you solve, b will be 20. So this becomes a 20. So it is calculated, all right? Now it's just a whole bunch of math. Uh, let's see, I get 2 centimeters squared per minute equals 5 centimeters dB dt plus half 20 is 10, 10 centimeters squared per minute. Oh, look, we got like terms on our, co on our constants, the 10 and the 2. You take it away, it's negative 8 centimeters squared per minute equals 5 centimeters dB dt drive to 5 by 5. Five centimeters, I think you get negative eight fifths centimeters per minute equals dB dt. We are pretty good, and this is not a very, not too bad a problem. It's a clean related rate, it's just one that you would have to set up and understand to do the problem, right? You wouldn't be able to fake this on a test. It wouldn't be like all the examples, it could be done with almost anything. Um, thinking forward, think about this. You could do this with area of a rectangle, right? Equals length times width, where you gave, say, dl dt, and you knew da dt for the rectangle, and you could have to find dw dt. Again, it comes down to getting the good picture and the good variables.